Hi, babe. Hi. All right, it's Sunday. I don't really have anything planned. Oh, there's a there's a tour. Hey, there are newbies coming to res next year, but yeah, I don't really have anything planned for her today. I gotta give Lauren some uh, extra Copic ink. But yeah, so this week's vlog is gonna be a little a little bit different from the other ones. I talk about why today's I mean this week's vlog is gonna be so different. I'm gonna help Lauren here refill her Copic marker. Watch close. So uh, here we have uh, Lauren D'Souza, a first year industrial design student, is clearly a noob at uh, filling up Copic markers. You take the thing and then you, you dab it. You dab it. Yeah, so you take you take your Copic marker at the flat end. And I apologize about the background noise. They're watching a the movie. Just the flat end. And then you take a refill. Only buy Copic ink because you can only buy Copic ink. But this is Black and 100. Screw off the lid. Make a sacrifice to Satan. And then the tip to the flat end and you drop it in. 10 drops usually does it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and then you start moving. Can't even see that. Oh, there you go. So, then. You flip over to the other side and you do the same thing. And then once you're done, you leave it for eight hours. Oh! I almost dropped the bank. But, uh, leave it for eight hours and then use it. Because if you use it right away, it's going to screw up your drawings. So I don't mean to be wearing these, but I'm sitting by a window in the library where I got to keep quiet, even though there's no one in here. So I might as well just talk like this. But. So yeah, this week's vlog is gonna be a tiny bit different as opposed to taking video every day. Um, I'm gonna take video on Wednesday and the reason why it's gonna be on Wednesday is because it is the second year industrial design share show. So I'm gonna focus the vlog on that since uh, the whole goal of this vlog is to share perspective and uh, all the stuff that we do at Humber, not just in my year, but for the rest of the year. So after the share show, uh, there will be a vlog focused on the fourth year thesis show and as well as maybe a couple like third year things that don't have events but I'll show you them because my roommate always does stuff too. <laughs> so yeah, so this week's vlog will have a different take on it but it'll still be a vlog. I need to stop doing that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go. See you, Steph. Bye. Have a good day. All right, I'm just leaving the library now. I got a considerable, bleh, I can't even talk, but I got a considerable amount of work done. I would stay for longer in the library and do more work, but I am starting to feel like crap. I think it's because I ate too much for lunch. So I'm gonna head back to residence, but the thing is, so the thing is I forgot my residence card in residence and that's the third time I've done it in the last two weeks. So if I tell them I lose it a third time, I had to pay $10. So I'm gonna avoid that and get my roommate's residence card so I can go back into residence and it'll be all good. So I'm feeling a little better now. Um, I tried sleeping, couldn't really sleep. Um, maybe I fell asleep for like a couple minutes, but then when I, uh, when I woke up, it's like golden hour now. And if you look outside, yeah, so the lighting's in, like incredible right now. So we're gonna go take a few pictures before I go back to the school and do some work. Also, my hair is just sticking out. Now, I started doing uh, like amateur photography when I was maybe 16 or 17. So on the same time that I started beatboxing. So you could say that both my beatboxing career slash hobby and this uh, go hand in hand with one another. And it's kind of cold outside, anyway. But, um, yeah, so I've been doing beatboxing and photography for both the same amount of time. And I find that if I grow in one area in photography, I grow in another area of beatboxing. And then I guess you can say this vlog is just uh, an extension of photography or, well, videography, kind of thing, that kind of thing. But, yeah, when I started photography, uh, I shot on a Canon Rebel XS that I found on the used site of Henry's. Henry's is an amazing camera store. That's where I get all my gear from. But yeah, so it was a Canon Rebel XS with a kit lens of the 18 to 55. But then for my birthday, for that, but that following year, uh, I got 
a 50 millimeter f1.8 which was perfect for like I mean portraits and that kind of stuff so I used that for maybe like four years I want to say I had that for a while then while taking pictures for somebody I broke my 50 millimeter because because it fell on the ground and I was cameraless for maybe about a year and then I got this Canon T5i uh, with the 18 to 55, and then I also have uh, the new STM 50 millimeter 1.8 lens. But I don't really like talking about camera gear. Uh, that's just kind of give you, to give you an insight on what I do use. But mainly, it's the you create with uh, the DSLR or the camera. It doesn't matter what camera you have, just as long as you know how to use it. That's what matters. Nothing. Just gonna take some photos. I found Dashel. <laughs> Everyone say hi to Dash. Let's go, let's go. You good? It's cold, eh? Yeah. So I got back to Rez and um, I found my friend BJ. Hey! He has his own YouTube channel too, which I will link below. But uh, yeah, he's here for, he's an RA at Lakeshore. Um, we're at North, North is in the middle of nowhere. Lakeshore is a little closer to everything, but yeah. Are you, are you are you happy? Are you happy with your choice? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> True, but yeah, they're here for an RA meeting, and I never see this kid when he's here because I'm so busy. But I'm not busy today, so yeah. yeah it's always good seeing BJ. Uh, I haven't seen him since like last year. I don't know. I just keep on seeing people that I haven't seen in a while. In this last like couple days, it's crazy. It's always nice, but yeah. Now I'm just eating dinner with these two boys, <laughs> and I barely see them either because I'm an industrial design. I think I'm gonna end the vlog there. So like like I mentioned, uh, this week's vlog is gonna be centered around the Share Show, which is on Wednesday at the Gladstone Hotel starting at 6.30 I want to say. So I'm gonna end the vlog there. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you later. Easy. Go. That guy back there in the truck just asked to use my camera and I said no because I don't know you and he told me to suck a dick. Who does that? <laughs>